Lamb, lamb, spinach, rice, vegetables, tons of bread, Turkish love bread. So I thought this was lamb, and it turns out to be eggplant. But this looked like lamb. Definitely not. I wanted to double up on my meat, but I think I shot myself in the foot. I got more vegetables than anything else. Since I got the turkey, all I've been eating is meat. Spinach. This town is so Turkish. It's close to the airport. As soon as I left the hotel, all eyes were on me. It's definitely not the sort of town that tourists come to and stay. It's more of a transit town. People would rent a hotel in this town and then they'll get a car the next morning. I have like tons of potatoes, eggplant, spinach, carrots, cabbage or lettuce and rice and one small piece of meat. Let's see what the meat tastes like. Yeah. In true Turkish style, the spices are the same everywhere. Alright guys, I'm out of here. I'm in Istanbul's airport right now. I got shaken down like three times. There's three security checkpoints. Every single one, you have to take your shoes and your belt off. You have to empty the contents of your bag as usual. But there's three checkpoints. I've never seen that before. And all of them have metal detectors and the rest of it, right? <clears throat> it's a very uncomfortable experience. It's the reason why I took a bus from Izmir to Istanbul. Instead of going through the torture of having to travel by plane. But I've cleared everything. And uh, I have to say that my mind is blown away. This is possibly the nicest airport I've ever been to. It just reeks of opulence as soon as you walk through the last security checkpoint. Almost like you're in Istanbul, the old town, with the cobblestones and the shops on either side. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna catch my flight pretty soon. I'm gonna end my turkey vacation off with a nice fat double burger. <laughs> Turkish style. So how can I put this? I arrived at the airport five hours before my flight. Triple checked that I had all my documents. Passport, check. Vac suit, check. Flight ticket and boarding pass. Check. As I approached my gate, I saw the check-in officer checking passengers' documents. As I walked through the crowd, I noticed in the hands of passengers a document that I was not familiar with. Confused, the check-in officer approached me and asked me for my passport, my boarding pass and my PCR test. At this moment my heart sank, my flight would be leaving without me. Without going into too much detail, it was my understanding that a VAC cert was all that was required for EU citizens travelling into EU countries. But what I did not take into consideration was that I was flying out of a non-EU country. 
costly mistake. I walked away defeated. To make a long story short, when I went to pick up my luggage, I noticed that at least 20 other passengers on my flight were also turned away at the gate. Not only did I lose flight money and hotel money in Porto, but I had to do it all again, plus buy a PCR test and rent a room at the airport hotel. What a mess. Anyway guys, this is what my place looks like. This is the airport hotel. This hotel is directly in the middle of the airport. So basically, as soon as you walk outside of the hotel, you're just walking into duty-free shops. And uh, you have your showers here. Your showers are just like, it's like a studio, like a luxury studio, I guess. You can hang your clothes there. You got your sink, mirror, got your soaps and everything. Got some sort of bench going on here. I think that's a door connecting the other room to this room, so I'm not I'm not gonna go in there. There's a huge TV, TV looks like at least 46 inches. You got your little work desk here. Two chairs with a little coffee table between. And you got your big king size, it looks like bed. So that's going to be me for about 12 hours and that's going to set me back 415 lira which works out to 150 euros but it had to be done uh, well I already told you the story so at least when I wake up tomorrow morning I can just walk out, check in and, uh, and be on my way.